If you're someone who regularly uses the sociological definitions of words, no matter who you're talking to, my question to you is, why? Why? Why is it important for you to use those definitions when you know that the people you're talking to are not going to be using those definitions? Why? It doesn't make any sense for you to use to, to explain things with an assumption that people are going to uh, look at what you're saying uh, using the sociological definitions. Especially if it's something like, a phrase like, oh, black people can't be racist. Why would you say that at all? You know what most people's definitions of words are, why would you ever state that, knowing what definitions other people use? Well, they need to get educated. <laughs> when someone says that shit over people going with the, the, the definitions that are in dictionaries, that are the common and historical definitions of words, when you're going to tell people, you need to get educated, and then you'll even follow it up when they say, well, what do you mean? Well, it's not my job to educate you. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, it's not like someone is just coming up to someone at random and saying, hey, uh, can you educate me on this subject? No, it's, it's a person, you, you've made an argument, and then when someone says, uh, that's messed up, and your argument back is, well, um, you're too stupid and uneducated, and it's not my job to educate you. You know, well, oh, only men can be sexist. Man, what, what, do, do you, do you, yes, if you use a sociological definition, that statement can make sense, but nobody uses that except people that are, you know, in the know. And a lot of the people that are in the know um, know how much it irritates and infuriates, actually, a lot of people that you could say these phrases to. It just seems like some of you get off on... on making people miserable. You get off on pissing people off. Here, let me state this really caustic statement. And then when people get mad, you say, oh, well, you're just too stupid. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what's, what's with that? If you know what definition most people use of, of words, and you know that if people were to use the regular definitions of those words, that what you say will be caustic, then why say it? Why say it? Another thing that's frustrating about this is there are some people who don't actually know what they're talking about when it comes to these subjects because it's all about memorizing these phrases some people if you ask them to explain what they're talking about in a way that doesn't require any of these new definitions of words and doesn't require the, the, some of these standard buzzwords and buzz phrases they can't do it and something I've learned about myself, and I've, it seems to apply to other people too, is, I mean, there have been times where people will ask me some, ask me to explain something, and I'll be like, well, it's, it's hard to explain, or I, I, I don't know how to explain it uh, right now. Or, you know, and, and what that means is, you know, I don't have it as a solid concept yet enough to be able to explain it. There have been many times in my 20s where I, I, I would bluff knowing something. You know? 
And I'm sure we've all done this at some point in time or another, whether we want to admit it or not. But if you can't explain something, I mean, you may not have the perfect wording for it, but you can at least make an attempt to explain how something works. You can attempt to explain a concept. I mean, even if it ends up sounding like, well, you know, this thing over here, and and dude, man, it it, it it's just bigger than 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 uh, than anything else. And you end up wording it kind of like that, like dude, <laughs> or whatever, you know. Um, fine, at least it's showing that you have an understanding of it. But if you can't explain jack shit without using the exact same wording that it was taught to you in, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't understand the concepts you're even just you're describing. You're do you're doing the equivalent of reading Bible verses. Sometimes someone might ask uh, uh, there there are some Christians out there you can you can ask a question about something you know what, what? What does what does this mean? You know what, how how does this work? And they'll have a Bible verse memorized. They won't actually be able to explain it to you. They'll just have that Bible verse memorized, and and they think that that's just it's just so great that they have that memorized, and they're proud of themselves because they have that memorized. Look at how much I know about the Bible. So, you know, look how much I know about feminism. Look about how much I know about sociology. I have all the right wording. Aren't you proud? Okay, explain it without using that wording. Uh, uh, uh well, you know, uh, you just need to get educated. Ah, okay, I see. <laughs>